I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a starburst for 4th of July. I come right about here and I put a dot and from that dot I'm going to draw a circle and coming on top I draw a curve line up, down, connect. I come directly below and I draw a curve line down, up, connect. I come to the right and I draw a curve line out, in, connect, and on the left I draw a curve line out, in, connect. Now in between each of these spaces we're going to draw another curve line up, down, connect, curve line out, in, connect, curve line out, in, connect, curve line out, in, connect. Now in between these spaces we're going to draw a straight line out, straight line in, 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 straight line out, straight line in. Now I come inside each one of our first, drum. they're almost like petals, and I draw a curve line, curve line. Come to the next one, curve line, curve line. Next one, curve line, curve line. Next one, curve line, curve line, curve line up, up, curve line up, up, curve line in, in, curve line in, in. Now this whole part is going to look different for everybody else because of, we all draw differently. But you get the general idea. Now I come inside the circle and I put a dot and I draw a straight line up, straight line down, straight line out, in, out, up, down, up, out, in, connect. Put a dot. Straight line up, down, out, in, out, up, out, up, out, in, connect. Put a dot. Straight line up, down, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, connect. If you have room, put a little baby one. Straight line up, out, in, out, in, out, connect. Put a little baby one right here, straight line out, in, out, in, out, in, connect. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. You know, I look at this design and I just can't decide if it looks like a starburst, a sunburst, a sunflower, or maybe just a 4th of July um, decoration. But be that as it may, take your blue crayon and we're going to color the inside of the circle but not the stars. Leave them white all the way down and around. And then next, so that I don't get confused because I am easily confused, I'm going to color these little straight lines, straight lines in all the way around. And these are going to be blue. Now, you'll do a much better job coloring than I am. And everybody's is going to be a different size and have more stripes or more stars. So don't 
worry if you think yours isn't right. There are no mistakes in art. You're doing fine. Work your way all the way around. Up and around. There we go. Now, the next part is get your red crayons out and we're going to do the left and then the right of each one of these spaces all the way around now I think it's easier to color in all the blue first because it's kind of easier to see what your stripes red and white stripes should be and fortunately it's only two colors so that's not bad take your time and like I said before there's a lot you can do with this we're going to talk about that in just a minute okay once you've done your red and white stripes on your actual burst starburst now you can make a choice. One, you can cut this out all the way around or you can take your red crayon and do more stripes in the background. It kind of depends on what you're going to use this for. If it's the front of a card or part of a banner, you might want to put the stripes that we're adding right now. But maybe if you cut it out and you want to make it like a pinwheel or a decoration for your table, like you could even use these as name tags, you wouldn't put the stripes. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my red, white, and blue starburst all colored in, ready for the 4th of July or any celebration for the United States of America. Okay, bye-bye.